so hi guys welcome back to the channel and today we're going to learn about fast api so we're going to start this fast api series and today we'll learn about how you can build a fast api in just five minutes so we're going to develop a small api using fast api so i'm going to show you how fast api works and we'll learn the syntax for that and how to run that inside our local host so let's begin so first of all to run fast api um i'll just activate a virtual environment for my python application so if you do not know how to make a virtual environment, you can run this command python hyphen m v e n v and then v e n v and that this will make a virtual environment inside your folder. But if you do not want to use virtual environment, that's okay. But I use it for handling the requirement conflicts in my system. So I'll just activate this virtual environment by running the command v e n v slash script slash activate and this will activate my virtual environment all right moving forward i have a fast api folder developed here so i'll just go inside this fast api folder and we'll start building the fast api app right here all right so i'll just create a new file here which is named main.py just like flask api and we're gonna run uh, we're gonna make a file inside this main.py so for the requirements, we just need two requirements for now, which is first of all fast API, of course. So we're gonna install that using pip install fast API. And we're also gonna need to install Uvicorn. So Uvicorn is used to run fast API. So we're gonna install that. It is the ASGI server that will run our app. So to install Uvicorn, you can run the command pip install uvcorn so this will install uvcorn inside our system all right so for running a fast api the simple syntax is uvcorn and then main semicolon and the name of the app which we are going to declare inside our file so i'll show you how does that work so so first of all i'm going to import fast api so i'm going to use the command from fast api import fast api all right so once well, once we get the fast api here then we can start working with the actual code so for the first app we're going to declare the app inside a fast api which is going to be just a fast api instance all right so now we can declare our roots for the app so i'm just going to declare one root for this purpose because this is just a demo of fast api and we're just going to learn how it works so i'm going to declare the uh, the root index the root url which is just going to be the slash and then we're going to uh, after writing the decorator as add the rate app dot get and in the brackets the url uh string which is going to be just a simple slash then we can define a function you can name it anything i'll just name it read root and then we're going to return an object so for now i'll just return a json object here which is which can be something like hello world so, so this is going to return just a json dictionary or uh, which is of a dictionary type and it will display it on the server but on the web page all right so let's see how does that work and now we can simply run our applications for so for running the application we can run the command uvicorn main which is the name of our file semicolon and then now the name of the fast API instance which is the app instance so by running this command, our fast API should boot up. Perfect. So as you can see, it is live on the port 8000, similar to the port uh, 8000 for a Django application. Now, one more thing, if you want to configure a setting in which the application reloads itself on every time you make a change inside your file. So you can also put a reload flag against the command of uvcorn, and this will create uh, your fast API and also reload it every time you change the file contents of main.py or any kind of uh, py file you are building with this fast api all right so now i'll run this command and as you can see it is running on a 8000 port so i'll just check it out and as you can see we have got the message of hello world so that means our fast api is running perfectly and that is basically how you can start working with fast api and build your first api using fast api so guys that's it for the video and thanks for watching